Oh, World of Warcraft. Oh, you epic time-consuming monstrosity that I haven't touched for long, long years. But anyway, today we're tackling you. And first, the world of World of Warcraft is different to the strategy game world in some regards. And the most important one is that in World of Warcraft, well, I would say nobody dies anymore. In the strategy game, the normal units did die. And it's fair to assume that once they died, they stayed dead. Well, more or less. But the heroes could come back thanks to this altar thingies. In World of Warcraft, you don't even need this altar thingies anymore. You die, you go to your body as a ghost, you are alive, ta-da. So let's assume that on a planet where are two branches of people, it has those who can die and those who, well, can't. Well, I let you do the math, but I would say following very, very, very basic evolutionary ideas, I would say we end up with a lot of people that cannot die, while those who can die will go extinct. And some big wars help normally to speed up this evolutionary process, let's say a bit. And I would say it's pretty fair to assume that right now a lot of the mobs too are functional immortals and that more or less everyone in SRS is now immortal to some degree. Next thing is that magic is everywhere and if I say everywhere I mean that most of it is not seen as magic anymore. Every item that is green or in a better quality than that is magically enhanced. That's the reason you get magic stuff if you if you disenchant this crap. The reason this stuff makes you better, faster, stronger and so on is magic. The reason that someone can a sword that is 3 meters long and 500 kilos heavy, magic. The reason this absolutely ludicrous architecture works, magic. The reason that these contraptions that could not even swim in real life can fly in World of Warcraft, magic. And we know that from the books about the ancient wars and from the lore about the blood elves that magic has to come from somewhere. It, it's a research and therefore it's scarce. But it's not so scarce that I would do a video about it and would rant around like in the Minecraft video. Oh no. You see, you can produce magical items out of quite ordinary stuff like ores. So magic is indeed everywhere, even in these ores, and easy to come by. So the battle is not about resources. It's also not about territory, because you see, in a world with portals and immortal soldiers, city walls become quite silly. Portals grant you that you move in essence to every place you want. And this includes other worlds. Granted, a portal to other worlds is not as easy to make as, a, let's say, a hearthstone, but uh, it can be done. And uh, from the looks of it, other realms follow basically the same rules as Azeroth. So if the war, this constant war in World of Warcraft is not about resources and space, what is it about? Well, I would say the war is about boredom. You see, if you are an immortal and you get anything you need to live, like bread, beer, meat, whatever, uh, either from a mage or you buy it for the equivalent of 10 seconds of work, there's not a lot to do anymore. It's not about vitals anymore. And when the people stop caring about their bodies, well, they start to care for reputation. So the major motivation to get, get out and kick butt is reputation. And reputation comes with stronger enemies you fought and defeated and with new exotic armor, weapons and stuff. This is why people get up in the morning and there is no stopping to that. There is always another leader to kill, there's always another piece of wardrobe to get. That's the motivation to go ahead and to seek for new worlds. And I'm not talking about worlds with pesky level 10 citizens on it. Oh no, who cares about them? This culture seeks the strong, the mighty, those who will pull a good fight and have stuff that is far superior to the stuff they have for themselves. You ask yourself why the Burning Legion tried to battle down Azeroth over and over and over again? That's why. Because they, they do the same. In essence, every culture in 
Warcraft ends up as the Legion, fighting every stronger warriors. Seek new challenge, new loot, new reputation. The Burning Legion is the future of every single Warcraft culture. If you fight and ravage through planet after planet after planet, don't think for a moment that you are not perceived by those natives there as a demon fighting for absolutely nothing but the fight itself. So what can we learn from that? Well, not a lot, but on the other hand, if you don't fight for resources, if you don't fight for space, if you don't fight for, for anything else, but for reputation, for, oh, I have another thing that looks cool and people like me more because I have this new shiny thing. That's kind of silly, isn't it? I mean, do you need that? Is it necessary? Not really. Absolutely not really. In this world where they have everything, they start to become the biggest assholes in all the galaxy, run from planet to planet, destroy anything just to get a new shiny stupid thing. I think if cultures become bored, if cultures have just a little bit too much, they start with this stupid bullshit. And can we see something like that in our own culture? I would say Yes, perhaps that's the reason, or one of the reasons, why we have problems in the West. Because we are bored and we care way too much about our reputation.